Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another Game Pass game and this time we're getting it all in Skull, the Hero Slayer. This was developed by Southport Games, published by NeoWiz Games and is available usually for £16.74 but it is free on Xbox Game Pass and Game Pass for PC right now. Right, so let's just get into this one. For one, this debug menu trick will only work on the PC. They patched it, completely patched it for Xbox, but if you have a PC, you can still use this trick, at least for now, to make this go from an 8 out of 10 hard completion to an easy 2 out of 10. So a reminder, this debug menu system trick does not work on the Xbox, only on the PC. So you'll have to install the game on your PC or laptop to get the easy trick way to a full 1K. Now the reason I called it a hard 8 out of 10 on Xbox is because you have to kill bosses without being hit. Now this debug menu basically gives us the god mode option and the ability to do whatever the hell we want. So basically like Spongebob skinny arms when he had those inflatable muscles in that one episode, if you know what I'm talking about. But yes, you can use your controller with the PC too. Um, I just put a cable in mine and it works straight away. But I'd highly recommend using the controller. It just makes things way easier. Of course, i got quite a bit of explaining to do, of course, but this way we can knock the game out in around 40 minutes to an hour. So, with that being said, then, let us begin. So, we're going to immediately start here. We're just going to smash the A button to smash through all of the dialogue. And we've got a skeleton with a hole in his skull. That looks um, unfortunate. Um, but probably enough to take a dump in. But we're not going to do that for now. So, what we're going to do, how the debug menu works. If you press the F2 button on your keyboard you will bring up the menu it used to be zero on the xbox but now it's f2 and uh, it all comes up in korean but the only things we need to worry about now are the bottom left one which is god mode the one next to it which is damage buff and the one next to that so the bottom so the bottom three from the left so you got god mode which as you can see puts our health all the way up to 10,000. Damage buff, which basically kills the enemies in one hit, and the no cooldown. So when we get the ability to get magic tricks later on, um, th there's no cooldown, so we can just con consistently use them straight away. But though those are the only three they'll be worrying about for now. You can get things like, um, there's things called Dark Quartz, there's, thing, uh, there's gold, you can get 10,000 gold, um, the ability to change our character, but again, for now, we're just sticking with the only things that I give a schnoz about. And, so as you can see, sometimes you have to press it twice in order for it to work. It can be a, a little bit buggy. Um, so, just click it once. Uh, press the F2, men, uh, F2 button on your keyboard to go back out. So, as you can see, for me here, the um, damage buff didn't work. So, press F2 again. Go back on the damage buff, which is the bottom left corner. And, as you can see, the enemies should now die in one hit. Um, and that's what, and that is basically what we'll be doing for the majority of the game, which is just fine, dandy, and freaking fantastic. So we've just saved the witch. Now we're going to enter through this. We're just play, basically playing through the prologue for the time being. But that is what you need to do. So F2, that is the new menu. It only comes up in Korean, but again, there's only a couple of buttons we'll be given a crap about. So don't panic um, <laughs> where you think, Jesus Christ. That is kind of like Kid Chameleon. Anybody remember remember Kid Chameleon on the Sega? Man, what a goddamn game. So as you can see there, we've got the left trigger, we've got the right trigger. They are our abilities as well. Uh, so obviously when you've got no cooldown, you can just consistently spam the right and left trigger to use your um, abilities easily. So what we're going to do here, we're going to kill this big uh, Shrek looking dude. Press the left trigger or right trigger once. And obviously because you've got your damage buff on as well, that kills him in one hit. Now, of course, we've got five chapters equals five bosses equals we have to um, defeat these bosses without being hit. So that is why we're going to choose specific ones. Basically, we're going to stop time and then we're just going to smash the right trigger and left trigger until all the enemies die. Um, but again, well, I'll come back to it in a bit later on. But if you do get hit, you can simply just restart it because uh, we, we don't have to complete the whole chapter. We can just go straight to the boss, kick some boss ass ball sack. Which, of course, is what you want to do. <laughs> Don't literally kick his ball sack in, though, because it makes me feel sick actually thinking about that. Just never kick a man in the balls, please. Unless he's one of those weirdos that really likes it and pays dominatrix women's £500 to do it. Then, by all means, everyone's got their own life, of course. Right, so after the little cutscene, we're going to start right here. and We're going to get our first achievement of the game. Now, as soon as we begin and we can start... Hey, lady, where can I stick this bone? Oh, I just took my head off and... Uh, never mind, I can stick my bone up myself. Right, anyway, 
immediately go to the left, stand on this chair for just a couple of seconds, and the rules of etiquette achievement will unlock. Of course, because I've done this on the PC, Windows 10, the achievements, you won't see the achievements unlock, but of course I will tell you exactly which ones you get in. So, stand there for a couple of seconds until you get the rules of etiquette achievement. Now, what we're going to do is um, get a new character. So again, press F2 um, on your keyboard, and I just like to put the uh, God Mode back on and everything now, so uh, you can if you want, but you can do it later on. So go to the, from here, again we can turn God Mode off, uh, God Mode on there, damage buff and no cooldown. But if you follow where I go, which is the top, the second row, top left corner, and click that, now click on head, and then choose the Arch Lick. Very important, that's basically the most powerful one in the game. Then go to item, scroll down until you find the Ring of Wind, which is basically a bag of farts, more or less. So the Ring of Wind, uh, now we're going to click on this nine times. So make sure to um, click on this nine times. Basically, it gives us an ability for more damage and more speed, which is what farts do. And then click on to Essence. And then go over to Kiris, which is basically the ability to stop time for a couple of seconds. So head, it's Archlich, and then press the Y button a whole bunch of times to pick everything up. And this is what he should look like then. So big scary dude with claws and everything. Now, the abilities are the next thing we're going to focus on. So of course make sure you've got the Ring of Wind and the um, Kirits there, which is uh, if you press the right bumper, that stops time. So, what we're going to do, um, press F2, go back. Now, the bottom right corner, you have the ability it's, uh, to basically re-roll the skills. Now, what I have done is use the left trigger and right trigger. Basically, one, the right trigger looks like a hand, the left one looks like an anchor. If you can get one that has a whole sort of, it, it looks like a whole roll and ball of chains, use that one. Because that basically just gets chains coming at you from all different directions. Um, but if not, do not panic yourself. Um, we're just, we can just use this one and it's absolutely fine. But I found those two to be the best and the easiest in which to use. Because basically the, the sort of hand looking one obviously just gets a chain straight out in front of you. And the left trigger one, which looks like an anchor, puts a load of chains up sort of um, for to the enemies above. So you can just jump and then press the right trigger and left trigger. I just um, went into this door just to make sure that the damage buff was working. So just go in here, kill these couple of enemies, and you should be able to do that. Uh, as, as long as the enemies die first time, that means you know that your cooldown and your damage buff is on. So... From here then, we can now press the F2, the top left main corner, go to chapter 1, and then go all the way down to the bottom. So click chapter 1, so it's the top left corner, which is basically the map, go to chapter 1, and then click the very bottom one there, 2 slash 0, 0. So, immediately, this is what we're going to do, this is how we're going to kill every single boss like a badass steroid Spongebob muscle arms. So, a cutscene's going to happen, a lot of dialogue's going to happen, and then what you're going to do is as soon as the health bar appears, you press the right bumper to stop time, and then immediately just keep smashing the right trigger and left trigger. So, there we go. So, just keep doing that, and then as soon as the action goes back in, like now, press the right bumper again to stop time. So, just press the right bumper now. I've done it a little bit... Uh, weirdly for, for whatever reason but that is how we're going to defeat each boss so you press the right bumper to slow time right trigger and left trigger to get both of your um, skill attacks going and then as soon as the time goes back press the right bumper again to stop the time so that is how we're going to uh, defeat the boss this first one is easy but we you should now unlock as long as you didn't get hit you should unlock two achievements here rescue delta end and the quick movements achievement so from here, press the F2 button again, go to chapter 2, and then 2 slash 0, 1. Now this one can be tricky, there's basically two, um, <laughs> two lady babies who are pretty badass and who can kick you when you are dead and down. So this one may take a couple of times, you have to not get hit. God mode doesn't mean you cannot get hit, you just obviously can't die. So if you notice that your HP goes down by any amount or you don't get the achievement, just um, press F2, go back into chapter 2 and then um, go back into 2001. But as soon as you start again, right bumper and then again just go to uh, both of them and just keep pressing the right and left trigger. As soon as it goes off again, press the right bumper. I got lucky with this one because these women, sons of bitches, can come in all different directions. So I got lucky there. 
Um, but I've already killed the one, so again, as soon as you can, just press the right bumper and just keep smashing the right trigger and left trigger. And there we go. And I got lucky with that one as well. So I jumped and she went under me. Um, but obviously, it's a bit pointless here. You, these uh, lady babies, Liana sisters, need to be on screen. So as soon as you see them on screen, again, right bumper, right trigger, left trigger. I thought you said a bitch! Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. And she's still not dead. So, if, you know, if she, she's still not dying. Um, again, just right bumper to slow time. As soon as it goes back, right bumper to slow time. And you should really have no problems. These can be a bit tricky. May take you once or twice. I had to restart it once. Um, just because I got hit square in the butt sack. And that one hurt. Um, but again, so that's all we're doing for all of these five bosses. In fact, four bosses. Because the fifth one's even easier than the rest. And then... So I, th I think this Liana sister turns into about 16 different crappy ass things. But as soon as we do that, right trigger, left trigger, right bumper, bam, death. So again, any time you get hit or the achievement doesn't unlock, just press F2, go back into whatever chapter it is, so chapter 1, chapter 2, and then just scroll all the way to the bottom until you see it's going to be 2 slash 0, 0, 2 slash 0, 1, depending on the chapter, depending on who kicked your nuts in. Or your boobs, of course, I don't discriminate. Boobies or ballies, whatever it is. So when we do that, the, you should get another two achievements there, so now we can press F2, go back into chapter 3, and then... Go all the way down to 2 slash 0. Now these uh, bosses are quite easier again. So so again, like I said, you should have got 2 achievements for the last one. And we're going to get another 2 achievements for this one. So it's normally for completing the boss and completing the boss without getting hit. Black Lab Chief. Well, they really cheaped out on Master Chief in this one, didn't they? So, once again, it's another little cutscene. It's another little bit of dialogue. So as soon as the Chimera, big ass dog thing, Jesus Christ... As soon as the health bar appears, right bumper. Jump and do your thing, right trigger and left trigger. Now, as you can see, this is why I chose these particular powers. If you didn't get the whole ball chain magic trick thing, that is why I picked these two. Because you can get the attack that goes straight ahead and the ones that go up as well. And it just helps, big time. Man, who pissed these doggies off? Who red rocketed these doggies? Or apparently haven't red rocketed these doggies. Doggies need love and attention too, you know. <laughs> they also need to relieve some stress, if you know what I mean. We're all human and animals after all. So, like I said, the Chimeras are quite a bit easier. Uh, so that should be yet another two achievements. You should get, that should be the... F um, the... False Goddess Disappear and Deadly Power achievements you should now get. So... When we are done with this one, again, you can literally just press the F2 button now. For some reason, I'm waiting a little bit. It was a shocking sight. He had three testicles and only four nipples. What kind of world am I living in when a man has four nipples? The three testicles thing, though, that's uh, powerful. Right, so anyway, press the F2 button again, of course. And this time again, we are going to chapter four. And scroll down to two slash zero. Um, now again, this one is easier. These bosses, obviously these bosses this way are easier than they look. Doing it legit though, I will give you £50 if you can do it legit. Uh, but don't come knocking for me because I don't have £50. So we have to jump up. So make sure, for some reason, the first two times, um, I got really laggy, really slow. So I had to restart it a couple of times. But as soon as we begin again, press the right bumper. Hit these two um, uh, sort of things on the right hand side there. You might have to do the right hand side a couple of times, but again, don't panic. As soon as you go back into it, just keep pressing the right bumper to go back into the time. And there's that one done. So for some reason from now, it started getting really laggy. So I just um, had to, I just had to restart it twice, but just, just to forewarn you. So anyway, when we get here, press the right bumper and then jump up to this sort of big main platform in the middle. And then just wait, basically the Archbishop of... Um, the Archbishop of Keeping Kitties Locked in Their Basement, uh, sorry, the Leone Order, sorry, will appear. And as soon as he does, now we can press the right bumper. And then just smashing the right trigger and left trigger should kill him off dead. I tell you what, he, <laughs> this bishop actually looks way pissed off. Oh my god, you found all the kids locked in the basement, you son of a bitch! I'm so angry! Uh, I'm sorry, that's just my civic duty, trying to rescue kids from, uh, you know... Popes. <laughs> anyway, let's just move on from that one. 
So you should get, like I said, another two achievements now. The Fall of the Leonia Order and the Levitator. So you should get those two achievements. And what we have to do, we're not going to go to the boss of Chapter 5 straight away. We actually have to play through Chapter 5. Um, basically just because... Uh, we need to get the final cutscene in order to get the demon thing that we're trying to rescue back to the castle, that's all. Uh, but it's, an, it's a very short chapter anyway, so again, do a panic, we're all good. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't know why I was taking so long with that one then. So, again, go on to chapter 5, press F2, press chapter 5 and then just go back, which is the top left hand corner, and then press the F2 button, and we will begin here. You should still have god mode and everything on, so... So good. So go through the first doorway. And basically these knights are coming alive. They're going to come alive. A couple of ones. So just I just smash the right trigger. You should still have your damage buff, your god mode, and your no cooldown on. So smash through all these knights like an absolute knife through butter. Or just my wiener through butter. That's a long story. We'll come back to that. Drunkenness and all sorts. Anyway, we'll come back to that. So coming in here now, we're going to get four achievements. This is basically the black market. This is four... Th so... Uh, okay, let me start again. This is the black market, and we're going to have four achievements here. Two, we just basically have to wait in the black market for five minutes. But what we're going to do first is go over to the right next to this <laughs> obviously not creepy guy. Press the F2 button and go back until we're on this area. Now, you see where it says 10,000? Um, basically, that means we're just going to get 10,000 coins. So, just keep spamming the 10,000 coins option. Um, we should have more than enough. So, just next to this guy, I got about 300k. This should be more than plenty. So, you can see the restock button there. Just keep spamming the Y button until that achievement unlocks. So, you should get the achievement called Inventory Management. So, wait, uh, keep... Uh, spamming the restock inventory until the restock inventory achievement unlocks. Now, if we go over to uh, just a, just up above where the restock inventory was, there is a headless guy which we need to talk to. Not on this one. I'm just having a quick nosy at things because we have to again. We have to wait in the black market for one minute and five minutes. So don't leave just yet. But this is the headless guy we need to talk talk to. Talk to this guy around three or four to. How can you even hear me, headless? Or is it? Headless wiener, I don't know. Could, could be any headless, but anyway. Speak to him a couple of times until the too much of a talker achievement unlocks. I also got the what should I buy achievement for staying in the black market for one minute. So you should have inventory management, what should I buy, and too much of a talker. Now we're going to get the brain full throttle achievement, and that is literally for just spending five minutes at the black market. So do not leave until you get, until you've stayed in this black market for five minutes and you have the brain at full throttle. So that should give you four achievements for just sticking around in the black market. And this is my kind of market. Screw Morrison, screw Sainsbury's and all the K-Marts, J-Marts, H-Marts, Ball Marts, every bloody mart there is in America. The black market's where it's at. So from here, when you get all the four achievements and the You've spent five minutes here and the brain of full throttle achievement unlocks. Now we can go and uh, just basically finish off chapter five. So from here, just go to the right. We're just going to skip our uh, merry little pubic hairs out of here. Unless, of course, you're pubeless, that's up to you. Me, I like a full 80s bush myself. You know, the one that gets right in your throat. Anyway, sorry, moving off track again. So jumping up, we just need to kill these knights. <laughs> sorry, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me today. And so when you kill the knights, again, you should have god mode on, so there should be no problem. Let's just nip through this door. Door of the hour. Jumping up again, there's going to be a whole another bunch of knights to kill again. So as soon as we kill this one, what we're going to do is actually just change back to the little skeleton guy. Which I should have mentioned earlier, you can do by um, pressing the left bumper. Uh, but just kill all these knights. Right, as soon as they're done and the door opens up, go through... And then we're going to press the left bumper to now um, go with the skeleton guy. So we're coming up to the final, fifth and final boss, but there are four achievements tied to this. Uh, so we need to obviously defeat the first hero with the skeleton guy, the little bone as we are now. Again, defeating him and defeating him without being hit. So we're going through a little bit of easier tactics than the last couple. Because we don't have any abilities like the main guy. That we were playing as earlier. So what we are going to do. When we enter this door. Again a whole bunch of dialogue. We, again we are going to use the right bumper to slow down time. And then we are just going to go over to him. And 
hideously smash the X button. Hideously smash it. Like you've absolutely... Like you've never bashed anything before. Your finger games... Your fingering should be on absolute point here. So as soon as you smash the dialogue, and it immediately begins again, as soon as you see the HP bar... Come on, Ballsack. Right, right, Bumper, go over to him and completely smash the X button. Absolutely just... Just... Just smash it, and then every time that should happen, he should just um, be dead straight away, or he should be defeated the first bit. So that is what we're going to do for his next two attacks. Basically, he turns into a, I don't know, LGBT superhero, apparently, or something. I don't know, but again, right, Bumper, immediately go over, start smashing the X button, and again, he should be downed. Happy days. Right, so we've just got one more time now that we've got to fight this guy. And he's going to be like, <coughs> Oh my god, my, my my dildos didn't work. I need to kill you underground for some reason now. I don't know why that is. But again, we're just going to do the same thing. So as soon as we, um, as soon as the HP bar and everything appears, we're going to press the right bumper, immediately run over to him, and then mash the X button like you've never mashed. You better finger that X button like you've never fingered anything before. I mean, in terms of fingering the Xbox buttons, you know. Again, so there we go. Right, Bumper. Smash, smash, smash the X button. And death upon you. Even though he was already dying anyway, he literally could have just died. A simple death. And we wouldn't have had to have gone through all that. But, ha, guy just got boned to death. <laughs> Funny. Aha, uh -huh, you got boned. And lucky brother. So there's going to be this whole cutscene, there's going to be this whole um, thing, but basically this is why, like I said, we had to play through chapter 5, instead of just going straight to the boss, the reason we had to play through chapter 5 was one, um, it doesn't save, so the whole black market thing we would have to have done again, but two, we're going to come up to the end cutscene, um, with the sort of demon guy thing, whatever we're supposed to be appearing, oh hello witch! Hey, I just boned this guy to death. <laughs> Get it? Boned this guy to death? Bah! Hilarious. Uh, so, anyway, let's just... We're just going to go through all this. But basically, there's an end cutscene with the demon guy, like I said. Now, if we didn't go through the whole of Chapter 5, when we go back to the castle, that demon guy wouldn't be there, and we wouldn't unlock the achievement. So that is why we've had to do it. So, just enjoy the cutscene. And when the credits start, uh, we can skip through the story... Enjoy the cutscene as soon as the credits start. Oh, well, we can press the X button right meow to return to the castle meow. So go ahead and do meow. But again, you should also have the four achievements, sorry, just, just before I uh, natter on some more. So what you should have had was the Skeleton King, the final battle of the first hero, the God of Battle, and the Cold-Blooded Achievement. Now that is for defeating the first hero with the skeleton, little bone. Defeating the first hero... Defeating the first hero without being hit, and defeating the first hero without rescuing any NPCs. So you should have four achievements right there. And then we can move on. So again, as soon as the credits and everything appear after this, just press the start or select button on your control to basically go back into the main menu. And then we go back into the castle bit. Right then, everyone, let's get back into it. Right, so we pressed any key, and now. We should get the Go Home Achievement. So now you should have the Go Home Achievement. There he is there. He's just on the top left of his throne. Again, if you didn't... Um, if you just went straight for the boss in Chapter 5, he actually wouldn't be there. And again, you wouldn't have unlocked the achievement. But since we have, we're all good. Right, now, let's die. So, if you want to just um, kill the boss again, you didn't get any of those achievements, go to Chapter 5, and it's 1 slash 0, by the way. To do that, just in case you missed one of the achievements. Otherwise, we can just go back into the maps, or the sort of main map area. Go to chapter 4, and we're going to choose Nought slash Rescue Death Knight. So, chapter 4, 
Nought slash Rescue Death Knight. Now, there is a particular reason we're going to have to do this. So, there we go. Nought slash death, uh, Rescue Death Knight. And when we get here, what we can do is make sure to put your God Mode damage buff... Uh, you do, uh, well, you don't have to do your no cooldowns or whatever, because I'm just sticking with little boner man. Uh, but just make sure to choose that your god mode is on and your damage buff is on as well. Again, press the left trigger to stick your skull in them if you absolutely want to. But basically, we're just going to rescue this huge ass demon knight who apparently can't just stamp on a couple of wiener bags. Don't know why, but there it is. But as soon as you kill all the enemies in this particular area, you can press the Y, press and hold the Y button to release him. There it goes. You don't get an achievement for this, but there is an achievement tied to this, which is why we're rescuing the biggest looking badass we've ever noticed. But from here, now what we're going to do is go ahead and die. We're going to get two achievements now. Oh, nicey slicey. Nicey slicey like a chicken tikka slice. Right. So, F2, we're going to go into Chapter 1, obviously press the top left um, corner button there, and then go into Chapter 1. Then go down and find Nought Slash 33. So, Nought Slash 33, there it is. Now, just press the F2 button to get out of it. Kill these guys first. So, again, should be fine, because you've got your damage mode on. Right, and kill, kill all the guys up here. Right, now press the F2 button again to go back into the old debug. Go back, now turn God Mode off. Just completely turn it off so you should have 100 out of 100 health. And then our little bald, bonerific man should be good. Jump down into these spiky boys below. And then spike yourself to death. I know you like me singing. Don't lie to me. So, now we should be dead. So you should now get two achievements. The legend begins, which is returning to the castle after experiencing death. And focus! Exclamation mark. Which is dying from a trap. So, now we've got the um, rescued, the, the knight that we, the death knight that we rescued. Basically, he's after Quartz. Um, and that is, and basically what he wants to do is do up the castle. Because it looks like a ton of crap. He wants to make it look all pretty and stuff. And there's an easy way to do that, luckily, again. So, uh, just go ahead and press the F2 button. Now, you see where it says 1,000, which is to just to the right of the 10,000 gold coins. It says 1,000. That is what the Quartz are. Now, basically, I think he needs roughly about 130 to 140,000 of these dark quads. So, just keep spamming the A button. Again, your fingering skill should be on point after playing this game. Or at least doing the debug trick menu. Hey, whoever likes to be, uh, you know, whoever likes being fingered, they are in for a treat if you've played this one. Um, but I've done 125,000, so just keep talking to him, and just keep spamming the um, A button a couple of times. Now, what he's going to do is basically, um, oh yeah, I think a couple of couple of these will do, a couple of those will do, and eventually you will you shall you will get the Castle Restoration Plans achievement. Um, so if he gets to a point where he says, oh sorry, that's not going to be enough, just go back into the F2, and um, there we go. So I end up getting 108,000. There we go. So just keep going, basically just keep going until you unlock the Castle Restoration Plans Achievement. When that one is done, and you've unlocked the achievement, which I have done, again, make sure that you've done before doing what I'm about to do, go to the right, jump down, Assassin's Creed style, pure Hey Death, which it would be Hey Death. But apparently people back in the day were harder and would just jump from a million feet into a hay bale. But again, that's for another story. So from here, just press the white button to enter. Again, make sure the god mode's not on, and you've got 100 out of 100 HP gain. And basically what we're going to do is just die. Uh, but for whatever reason, it does take a while for these... For big old steroid head here, and his little minions to kill me. But just, again, the enemies can be random, but it makes no difference. You're going to be dying at the same point anyway. Reveille job! So, now we're just going to return to the castle. Now you can see it looks all... Mwah, blamissimo! Looks goddamn beautiful, eh? Just do a double jump up onto this chandelier right here. And you should get the Dwarven Chandelier Achievement. So, make sure that one unlocks before jumping down. And there we go. Uh, this guy is such a nice guy for such a death knight. So... We should only have now one more achievement left, and that is called the Hero Killer for killing 100 adventurers. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put God Mode back on, damage buff, and cool no cooldowns. We're going to go and basically get our 
Arch Lish um, guy back. So again, make sure you go into Head Arch Lish and Ring of Wind nine. F the the bag of farts basically nine times. Um, the cooldowns the cooldowns the cooldowns do not matter because we're just going to kill the three adventurers, restart that bit, kill the adventurers, restart that bit. So go to the top left corner, which of course is the main map. Go to chapter three. And then what you need to do is scroll all the way to the top. Now, where it says not slash rescue druid, you need to go to the one to the right of that, which is not slash zero zero. But because there are a couple of not slash zero zeros, just make sure it is the very top one, which is to the right of the rescue druid one. So when you've clicked on that, press the F2 button, of course, to get back out of the menu. Now you're going to see three adventurers here. And all you need to do is just kill these. So just again, just press the right trigger, left trigger, whatever it is. But you can see they are HP in the top right hand corner. So as, all, as soon as all three of those are dead, you can now just press the F2 button. And just you can just uh, click the same one. It should be on the same part of the menu every time, so you can just keep doing that. So press the F2 uh, F2 on your keyboard. Go back into this. Kill these three. Press F2 to go back into the main menu or the debug menu. And like I said, your cursor should uh, be there at the same time. So click on it again. Press the F2 to go back out. Kill these guys. But basically, you need to do this. Uh, I don't know. It, it'll probably take another sort of seven or eight minutes because you need to kill a hundred of these douchebags. So again, F2, click on it, F2 to go back out, and the three adventurers should be there, and square. And are you ready to die a hundred times? Yes? <laughs> Alrighty then. Happy, happy day. So that's all you're going to be doing, like I said, for the next sort of six to seven minutes until the hero killer achievement unlocks, and that will be that one. So there we go then, guys and gals. So I do hope that this... I, I mean, I hope you enjoyed the game, but I really do hope that you enjoyed the guide and that the guide helped as well. Of course, it's always frustrating when it gets patched, things get patched, but um, again, I'm not sure how long this is going to last. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the guide. I really do hope that it helped and that you can get your full 1,000 out of 1,000 in relatively no time at all. So thank you so much for watching again, guys and gals. If it did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Again, a big, huge shout-out, as always, to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and everyone who interacts with me in the daily. Thank you so, so much. And, well, I guess I'll see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Bye-bye-bye.